Hello everyone, Pogo Lizzo here, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and uh, check the Discord, link in the description. Um, so yes, um, so, as you saw from the title of the video, um, don't know why I'm, I just got excited with my voice, but, like, uh, I haven't created a video in, like, when you'll probably see it, it's been, like, two weeks. Um, so I realize that I have to, uh, uh, create, I, 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 I kind of have to create a video, uh, uh, like, soon, and this is the time, because uh, YouTube, uh, YouTube, um, cares about regularity, you know, they're like the good doctor that cares about, um, your bowel movements. Uh, sorry, t too much information. Um, <laughs> but 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 yeah, I I realized that um I I have to um make a video, and um well I don't really have to make a video, but according to the YouTube gods I have to make a video. So what I've decided to do is I've decided to talk about my experience with autism, as I'm pretty sure. I have not created an exp an, my experience with autism and uh, in, in my experience with autism video ever before. I, I'm pretty sure that this will be the first time. If, if it isn't, if, if I check my channel and, and I've seen that there's, um, um, that I've already done this, well, well, who cares? This is to say a 2022 re-edition. Let's call it, if I've done it before. But anyway, yes. So, how I've, um, I like the tone difference. Uh, how I've, m my experience, there we go. My experience with autism is that, um, it's an interesting thing, isn't it? Like, like, for instance, um, like, um, you know, the traditional autism things, you know, um, you know, it's, like, hard for me, because of autism, it's hard for me to, um, understand tone. And understand what I'm using tone because personally, I don't really understand the concept of tone. Like I, I know what tone is, but I don't understand the concept of tone, which is why I get very confused when people say that I use the wrong tone because I don't even realize that I've used a tone at all. I, I just figure that I'm just using my regular voice, and not using a tone at all. Uh, but. But basically, for me, like, tone means nothing. Uh, if you hear, you know, like, I guess for, for non, for, for non-neurodivergent people, you know, when you hear a happy tone in their voice, you can expect that they're happy. If you hear a sad tone in their voice, you can expect that they're sad. If you hear a uh, angry tone in their voice, you can expect that they're angry. Um, but with me, uh, tone means nothing, so, um, you know, if you hear a certain tone in my voice, um, it means nothing. And, and also, like, I don't really understand humor. Like, like specifically, I, I don't understand comedy. Be because, like, like, whenever I try to tell a joke, you know, that usually would you know, be, uh, be received by laughter, I don't get, um, laughter, um, however, if I make a blunt state, if I make a blunt statement that, like, oh, that, that wallpaper looks like snot, all of a sudden, I get laughter, and yet, whenever I see people make jokes, they they get laughter back, but whenever they make a blunt statement, they don't get laughter. But somehow it's reversed for me, 
and then in other cases, it's not reverse for me, so because of that, I don't understand humor, I don't understand comedy. Uh, I don't understand human comedy, there's the problem, I don't understand you humans with your comedy. Um, but, but anyway, yes. Um, also, um, like, um, I don't know if it's, I don't understand emotions. Like, again, with, with tone, I understand the, the, the premise of it, it's, it's chemicals going through your brain, and your brain then, um, reacting to those chemicals. Um, but other than that, I don't really understand emotion. I don't really understand happiness, sadness, anger, love, or whatever you humans feel. Um, like, like I've experienced them, so I kind of have that to go by. But if, like, someone I know has had a loved one or family member or a pet died and they're, like, crying in tears, um, I don't know how to respond. Um, however... Whenever that does happen, I sort of give a fake empathy because it's kind of hard for me to empathize because I don't really understand emotion of other people. Um, so I'll I'll act like I understand. I'll act like I can empathize, but it's but I'm not really able to. Um, because I I just don't understand it. I don't understand why people cry when something sad happens. Which I know sounds sounds weird, but I just don't understand why people have emotions. Again, I understand why chemicals and all, uh, but on a like real life stage of actually physically seeing it, uh, of actually physically seeing an emotion, I don't understand emotion. I've never been able to understand emotion. I probably never will be able to understand emotion. Um, so yeah, it, it might be depressing for you to hear, but I'll never be able, really be able to uh, understand emotion, um, as sad as that may sound. Um, oh, and that's also another thing. I repeat things constantly. I don't know if that's the autism or just my brain working as it normally does, but I repeat things constantly. Like, like, a few sentences after I've said something, I will repeat it over again, for some reason. Again, I don't... And I also use the word again, constantly, because I realize that I constantly repeat myself. And as you can tell, again, it, it happens like a few sentences after I f first said it. So, like, talking with me is very, is very weird, which is why... I understand that talking to me is very, very weird, which is why I never try to have a conversation, because I realize that hearing the same thing over and over again, people don't want to hear, so I just don't talk to people. And that's it. Yeah. Uh, this is not, that's not it to uh, my experience. No, no, no. There's more. But, um, but that's it for, for, um, I repeat sentences. Um. But, but like another thing is is that it, it, if I like like for instance let's use YouTube as an example okay so like if I if I'm on YouTube and um I want to see a meme like like I want to see a meme animation it has to be the exact meme animation that I saw when I first saw the meme in animation form. Or like, if it's a song, uh, if if it's a um, if it's a mu if it's a music video done for a song, it has to be the uh, that exact music video by that exact channel. And because because what a travesty it would be for me to uh, look at someone else's animation for that specific meme or someone else's music video for that specific song. Um, <laughs> what a travesty it would be. But it doesn't just go for, like, watching YouTube videos. It's literally everything. Um, it, it's literally what websites I go to. Uh, to, uh, 
to see what's going on with people. Um, it's, it's, um, it's what shows I watch. It's, it's, um, what places I go to and what times I go to those places. Everything has to be scheduled. And that, and that segues into my next part. It's not really a segue, but I don't care. Um, I, I, I rehearse things. And this is a thing that I've, that I've constantly heard on, on YouTube videos about people experiencing the autism. Is that, like me, they rehearse things. Because it's the only thing that makes us feel comfortable. You know, we, we want, we, we, uh, people with autism, it, and specifically I'm going off my experience, uh, people with autism, um, we don't like the new. We, we don't like the surprising. We like the planned and, and the scheduled. Um, we, we like knowing that, that something's going to happen at that exact point, and it's not going to happen a second before, a second or a second after. Um, so, yeah. Um, but, but also, um, like, I will literally, like, rehearse conversations that will have, like, I don't know, like, 15 years in the future. And, and like, I'll, 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 um simulate every possible scenario that could happen inside of that conversation and i'll like simulate every possible question they could ask me and every possible response i could give and then i also simulate how they would feel about that response and then correct my response if i figure that that person would uh, not feel any good emotion after that. Okay, and um, I I feel like I I feel like it's only been like a few minutes, but I'm guessing it would be like around ten minutes right now. I'm I'm guessing we're around the ten minute mark. If not, I mm, wow, we're on good time. But anyway, yes. So um. That's another thing. I constantly blank out. I don't know if that's the autism or just um, my brain. Well, then again, my well, then again, the brain of a autistic person, such as myself, is shaped differently than the non-neurodivergent brain. So we are sort of. So, so if it is the fault of my brain, it is technically the fault of autism. Not that autism's bad. Personally, I view my autism as, as a uh, as a as a booster and not a drawback. Um, that's what I personally believe. Um, but anyway, yes. Um, <laughs> uh, so um, yes. Um, mm, what else? What else? Um, um, oh yes, uh, that's it, it just popped in my head, yes, um, okay, so, for some reason, um, for some reason, I, I don't understand this, I, I don't understand this, but like, Whatever, like, but, personally, I don't know if this is the autism, or just my personality, but, um, whenever I hear someone say something in a certain accent, and I find it to be delightful and such, I will repeat what they said in their accent. And the reason, and, you know, when, whenever I do this, people will eventually say, don't do that, you're being rude. Uh, when I had no intention of being rude. My intention was, repeating what they said in their accent was, was that I, I'm delighted by what you said. I, 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 I'm delighted by what you said. I want to remember what you said in my head, in your exact voice, for as long as physically possible. And to do that, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to attempt to do your voice, to do your accent, saying the exact words that you said. 
personally, when I do this sort of thing, I, I mean it as a compliment. However, again, people tend to tend to them perceive that as an insult. When I, I don't mean it as an insult. I, I mean it as um as a compliment that what you said I found very delightful. I, I found very pleasing. Um I want to remember that for as long as physically possible. Um so I'll repeat it so that I can remember it for as long as it will be possible. Um, <laughs> because I can't really record it. So um, I'll just say it in your accent. To the best of my ability. And um, so, so, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so, um, you know. You know, as, um, always, uh, thank you for watching, and, um, have a good year. Hey, Hi, everyone, I just wanted to remind you to like, love. comment, share, and subscribe, Here and I'll see you in the future, and as always, I love, I love Poblon.